What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and today I have another Oras Wi-Fi singles type battle. Now as you can see I have a new team there with the illustrious Mega Gyarados. If you have battled me recently you may have noticed me tinkering around with Mega Gyarados. Uh, and I just I just was reading on Smogon um, about good cores and I kept seeing things that I wanted to try but I kind of wanted to do my own thing as well so this is what we came up with and I have a couple of battles where just this team actually performs really well uh, it's Assault Vest Raikou a mixed Tornadus T that I actually got off of um, the GTS with, with the Pentagon and everything it's a hasty nature max speed uh, I was very happy with that one uh, this is Galimja, my the first Gengar that I brought this this generation is a sub Will-O-Wisp set just so I can um, kind of help f fake out with the uh, the sub disable set a lot of people switch out and then I get to burn something on the switch um, Gyarados is sub Dragon Dance Waterfall and Crunch Clefable is uh, Treble the Clefable so it's my underwear set with Wish and Thunder Wave Protect and Moonblast with max HP, max defense, and bold nature. And then, of course, we have an Earthplate Landorus T. This is actually the first team that I've ever used a Landorus Therian form in. Just because he's so popular, I never really bothered. But uh, and on this team in particular, he fits in pretty well. He's a good way to get up rocks. And, of course, I get the nice U-turn support and shenanigans. Uh, also, having double Intimidate is nice. I can go between uh, Landorus and Gyarados if I'm expecting ground type I'm sorry ground type or even electric type more importantly type attacks having double intimidate is nice you're gonna see that coming into play in this battle against this passerby uh, just because he has a mega swampert in the rain I really need to have that uh, intimidate going against swampert now as we both lead off with our respective tornadoes I just knock off his life orb I figured we would just knock off each other's life orbs but apparently he expected me to switch um, so I, I think I got the better end of that deal because now I get to stay in and hit something else um, And I led with Tornadus originally expecting him to lead with his Politoed and Politoed does often carry Ice Beam but uh, Even if he hit me with Ice Beam I wasn't going to KO most Politoed are especially defensive um, So right here I was just going to U-turn I really should have uh, switched moves and gone for the knockoff again after I tried to go for a U-turn um, Not afraid of Mega Swampert unless the rain is up with his Swift Swim ability and the water type moves boosted by the rain, he becomes quite threatening. With the rain down, uh, between having several immunities to his ground type moves and then having resist for his water and ice type moves, just not worried about it really. Now I do take this opportunity to switch out to make us um to U-turn out into my Gyarados. Uh, it's just a good opportunity to intimidate him and also to see what moves he's running. I didn't want to set up that early, of course, just because he could de he could whirlwind me out with Mandibuzz. Um, he still outsped me with Swampert after a Dragon Dance. Just all sorts of reasons. After I hit Mandibuzz, I see that he actually is carrying uh, Rocky Helmet, so I don't really want to stay in and try to set up on that. And I was worried that he would Toxic me or go for Foul Play. Neither one, Mega Gyarados or Mega Gyarados, neither one wants to take. I didn't want to Mega Evolve yet. So I just go out into um, my Regenerator here. So I can take the Toxic. I could have switched out into Clefable, but it doesn't have any form of uh, Cleric abilities, whether it's Heal Bell or having a Lumberry like that. So at least with Tornadus, I can heal the Toxic and the uh, Life Orb damage just by switching out. So I'm able to take out his um, Pokemon, his own Tornadus. So now at least I only have my own Tornadus and I don't have to worry about his as much, which is pretty nice. Because Serenius is quite speedy. Um, I think the most popular set is still the Assault Vest set. Just because it takes hits so well. But I just like mixed better. Um, for its ability to take on multiple threats. And then also just weaken things for the opposing team. Now right here I thought that the Thunderbolt was really 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 obvious. And so I didn't think he was switching to Gyarados. Because Raikou does carry Hidden Power Grass often. Mine actually has Hidden Power Ice. And so he does actually just end up switching right into his... Mega Swampert uh, going for Ice Punch yet again. Interestingly, if he had been going for a Waterfall this whole time in the rain, he would have had chances for flinches. But I guess since he knew I was going to switch, he was going for the chance to um, freeze. So, either way, even if it's resisted, I just wanted to lower his attack. 
uh, I went out into Gengar here just to stall out the rain. I thought that for some reason I had miscounted and I thought there was one more turn of rain. I'm just going to go ahead and use will o -Wisp on Mandy Buzz so that I can have some residual damage and kind of offset that leftovers recovery he's getting. I know that foul play won't KO just because Gengar has rather pitiable attack and uh, for some reason Gengar just keeps getting really manhandled by moves that normally would be three or four hit KO'd. He just gets critical hit by them and all sorts of things. So um, I go out into Clefable there expecting another foul play. He goes for Taunt and I thought that the Moonblast was really, really obvious. So I expected him to switch out, but he actually goes for Toxic again. I really could have just stayed in and Moonblasted him. Uh, and that's kind of the fun part about playing against passerbys. You have no prior contact with them. So you it's kind of playing blind like at a tournament where you haven't faced your opponents before. And so it's really a toss up as to whether um, you can predict their play style or get a feel for him. Uh, he hasn't really, he's been playing fairly obvious so far. So now I'm going to be able to start predicting him some. And right here, I just set up my stealth rocks because I figured he'd over predict uh, and go for something else like the Paris song or the Encore or something like that. But he actually just KOs me with Scald. That's okay though, because Landorus is not that useful against his team outside of Intimidate. I mean, that's only against his Swampert, which I can't switch Landorus in on Swampert for the most part. Uh, just Ice Punch and Waterfall, too good of coverage for Landorus to do much too. Now right here, I just went for a Wish. I was hoping to pass the Wish off to someone else. Uh, most, I really wanted to get my Gyarados' HP back up. Um, and since he Encores me into Wish, I really did not expect that. I thought he would Toxic me. And I'm not worried about the uh, Paris Song, of course, because I can just switch out. Now here, I really thought that I could switch into Gyarados, and based on the damage that Ice Punch was doing that whole time, I could live another Ice Punch. Uh, he actually goes for Waterfall, which again is the same strength in the rain, and he actually ends up picking the KO, which is really unfortunate. I wasted my wish, Gyarados gets KO'd, that sucks. So now we're going to go out into um, Gengar here just to scare out the, the Mega Swampert just because I know it's not faster anymore. I I really wanted to go for Will-O-Wisp, but at the same time it's like, no, let's just go for the Substitute in case he switches out. And he does end up switching out into Politoed. And now if he wants to Encore me or anything weird like that, I can just hopefully 2 KO it with Sludge Bomb. And he does just end up breaking my uh, Substitute with Scald. This is really important because as we already know, he does not have Rain Dance on his Swamper. He has Protect, uh, Protect, Earthquake, Ice Punch, Waterfall. So if I'm able to KO that Politoed, that will make this match a lot easier. So I ended up going for Substitute there again. I was hoping he would either switch or uh, just because I didn't want to go for a Sludge Bomb again because he had a Magneton and that's exactly what he ends up bringing in um, He ends up going just for a regular old Flash Cannon just to bring my Substitute And if I can get Magneton out of the way that makes Clefable have a lot more uh, utility as well And even without Life Orb I'm going to be able to 2 hit KO Magneton with Shadow Ball Which is amazing uh, He actually probably might have been Specs or something That was not a bulky Magneton at all So now that Magnezone is out of the way, Clefable has a lot more license to kind of run around and do things. He brings in his Politoed one more time to set up the rain, and I'm just going to KO Politoed. Even if he switched out into um, his Swampert right there, no big deal. I would have loved to get the extra damage on Swampert. So uh, as long as I can take down Swampert's HP a little bit, then I will be able to stall it out with something like Clefable. Um, right here, I actually ended up switching out, hoping that he was going to go for the Earthquake, but he doesn't really have any reason to go for Earthquake. Um, and he just, I didn't see Tornadus as being as useful at that point because I needed to stall out the rain. And to get good damage on Swampert, I really needed to go for Hurricane with uh, my Tornadus. So I didn't want to go for that focus miss ratio type move. With Clefable out here, I can go for Wish and Protect and stall out the rain several turns. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. We can see that even the rain boosted waterfall is not enough to one hit KO. It doesn't even come close. I think I would have even lived a crit there. Um, I'm able to wish, get all of that HP back and put him at a point where he needs basically two crits in a row or he needs a flinch at any given point to take out my Clefable. But since I am able to stall out the rain, that means that that's not going to do as nearly as much damage. And I'm now able to get some really solid damage on him with a Moonblast. This is important because, of course, I cannot KO the Clefable 
uh, from, I can't KO the Swamp Word, excuse me, from anywhere above about 60% with a single Shadow Ball. So I have to put some good damage onto him in order to make Gengar as kind of a secondary wing addition. Now he does still have Dragonite, which was the main reason I was saving Clefable. I didn't know what type of Dragonite it was. I was hoping that it was not Weakness Policy, uh, which is why it was important for me to get a Stealth Rocks. Now here he just surprises me by going for the Iron Head, which I don't think I've ever seen on a Dragonite. And even more surprising, it KOs me, which immediately tells me that he's banded. So I'm going to go out into Raikou right now. Uh, I'm not going to go for the Electric type move because I know Swamp Bird's coming in because that thing is definitely banded, doing that much damage to my bulky Clefable. So again, I just need damage on Swamp Bird, so we're just going to go for Hidden Power on the off chance that he stayed in trying to flinch me. And now Swamp Bird is nicely in the position where I can KO it uh, with Gengar. And I just went for Shadow Ball there, just trying to get a little bit of damage. And he actually doesn't end up KOing me because he goes for Waterfall. Now that was a real 50-50 right there. Uh, he probably predicted I mean, a switch to Gengar. But Gengar was my secondary win condition. I knew if he had, if he was a choice banded Dragonite, he would have been forced to go for Extreme Speed uh, because Gengar naturally outspeeds him. I mean, Extreme Speed, of course, does not work on Gengar. So him going for Waterfall there was not a crazy move at all. That was a he, kind of a 50-50 shot. But with Gengar being my win condition, I was not just going to switch it in on a predicted Earthquake. So that was a fantastic battle against that passerby. Um, rain is just really, really threatening, uh, and having secondary rain setters really makes rain much more difficult to deal with. So that was an exciting match. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely, I think I battled that battle when I had just woken up. It was like eight or something in the morning, and I wasn't even all the way awake. I was waiting to trade someone. I was supposed to trade someone that morning. Yeah, that's what that was. So that was an interesting match. Very, very fun. Thank you for the ability to battle passerbys, Game Freak. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.